Please know that this boss on the past may post a risk of injury. Hey, what's up? This is Cynthia. In my hand is a finisher part just came off the CNC machine. We generally refer to the surface finish of a part that has not undergone any additional finishing processes as as mentioned. Although this part looks almost perfect, okay, be careful. Don't touch it directly as there may be some sharp edges or metal bars. Bars can compromise the quality of a part, affecting parts functioning and safety. In this video, we will guide you to part deburring. Deburring is often performed after finishing operations, which can leave sharp edges or protruding metal imperfections now as burr. Deburring enhances the surface quality, making parts blush or a single line, safer, more functional and aesthetically appearing. You might wonder, since CNC machines can perform highly process finishing, why not complete deburring on the CNC machine itself? Let's uncover the reasons behind this. Personally, performing deburring on a CNC machine can extend its operating time. For many CNC workshops, quick turnaround is essential for staying competitive, so they often assign deburring tasks to the handcraft departments or use alternative deburring methods. Secondly, for parts with complex geometries, the CNC machine may not be able to access certain errors. Therefore, whether to use a CNC machine for deburring depends on the specific characteristics of the parts and the factory's production schedule. Now, let's start by exploring some deburring methods. Manual deburring. In our handcraft departments, workers use hand heared and machinized tools such as grinders, brushes, and files for deburring. This process depends on skilled workers to handle repetitive tasks. While manual deburring is straightforward, it can be time-consuming and may impact productivity. At Rapid Direct, we typically perform deburring on CNC machines whenever possible and only transfer tasks to the handcraft departments for pathways features that are difficult to debur. In addition to manual methods, it's important to consider mechanical deburring techniques. Vibratory finishing and tumbling finishing are two common mechanical deburring methods. Tumbling deburring involves filling a chamber with abrasives and other components, wet or dry, to debur and polish parts during the tumbling process. And vibratory machines work similarly to tumbling machines, using vibration to work the parts. These two mechanical deburring methods are cost-effective for deburring large batches of parts. Deburring is the final touch for CNC machined parts and is crucial for enhancing their quality. At Rapid Direct, we take deburring series. Our team of experts ensures that the parts you receive meet the highest quality standards. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for some videos on manufacturing insights. Bye!